Hey guys, in this video, we are gonna show you how to install a secondary processor and some memory into a PowerEdge T430 server. And make sure and watch the whole video because our first attempt at the secondary processor install did not go very well. And as always, we will post a link to our PowerEdge T430 hardware upgrade guide into the description of this video so you can see all of the hardware installs that we do in this video and more. Before we show you our actual install, we wanted to let you know that we posted a link to the PowerEdge T430 manual in the description. This link will show you other sample memory configurations that might be helpful for your particular install. The sample configurations are shown for a single processor configuration and a dual processor configuration. There are also different speed modules depending on the max frequency that is supported by your processors. Generally, the V3 processors support 2133 MHz modules, and the V4 processors support 2400 MHz modules. With that being said, we are now going to show you how to install a secondary processor in our T430 server. We currently have an Intel Xeon E52697 V3 processor installed in CPU socket 1. We also have two 16 gig 2133 MHz modules in slots A1 and A2. The goal is going to be to install another E52697 V3 processor in CPU socket 2 and then fully populate the rest of the memory slots with 16 gig 2133 MHz modules. This is the Xeon E52697 V3 14 core processor that we are going to install into CPU socket 2. We'll start by opening the metal levers that lock the processor into place on the system board. We can then gently place the processor into the socket by lining up the arrow on the processor to the system board. We can then put the metal levers back in place to lock the new processor to the system board. Now we are ready to apply some fresh heat paste to the processor and then cross diagonally tighten our heat sink onto the system board. Next, we are going to open up all of the memory slots to get ready to install 10 more 16 gig modules. Here's a close up look at the 16 gig 2133 modules that we installed. These are the max speed supported by the V3 processors that we have installed. Finally, we are going to put our plastic shroud back into place and then put the side panel back on so that we can power the system back on to verify that our system is functioning properly with our new upgrades. When we tried to power the server back on, we couldn't get video. So we did some adding and subtracting with hardware only to realize that the system would not boot with the secondary E52697 V3 processor installed. Dell doesn't provide much documentation on the supported processors for the PowerEdge T430, other than it supports Intel Xeon E52600 V3 and V4 processors. Our only guess is that it may not be capable of running with 245 watt or more processors installed. Comment below if you have successfully installed two 145 watt or more processors into your PowerEdge T430 server. In order to complete our dual processor install, we decided to install two Xeon E52667 V3 8 core processors. These processors run at 135 watts.
The replacement 135 watt processors allowed us to get video. Now we are going to go into the F2 setup to verify that the server is recognizing our processor and memory upgrades. As you can see, the server is now showing a 192 gig of memory installed. And you can also see that the server is recognizing both processors. We'll also log into Windows 10 Pro 64 bit to verify that the memory and processors are being recognized. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.